this is ash natural hair still wet from the wash and go i did this morning no filter at all you can see my acne scars you can see the imperfections in my skin now i love myself like this so i would happily post a picture but what we're not gonna act like is this looks the same as this there is an absolute difference an absolute difference now is there anything wrong with makeup no but the filter that i just put on has slimmed my face added lashes got my my lips looking extra pouty even though they big enough is adding a shimmer and a, a gleam to my face when you are doing online dating i believe that it is okay for you to show yourself fully made up like this or if you're gonna do a filter fine but you need to also show yourself in your natural state now i wish i had a wig available to throw on real quick because we know even hair makes a difference so if you are a natural shortcut girly who loves to go out with no makeup i am happy for you i need you to embrace that i need you to feel secure confident and beautiful in your natural state what i need y'all to stop doing however is going outside like this thinking that it's the exact same as this okay if you aren't comfortable posting yourself like this if you don't feel your most confident like this then you don't need to be dating until you get to that point because what i am telling you right now is this is who they want to see this is what they're gonna wake up to every morning that's why it is important for us to love how we look in our naked unfiltered, unmakeup body. This is important. If you can't post like this, you don't need to be dating. You need to be working on yourself. So I don't know if you want to call this a car vlog. If you're just going to consider this a regular video. But we got something to talk about, baby. There is a young lady that is going viral on TikTok. Here's the video. And she is absolutely devastated because she went on a first date and the guy told her he was catfished because she didn't look anything like her pictures. Here's her in real life and here's her picture. Here's my thing. We all use some kind of, excuse me, let me not say all. Some of us, especially in the content creating space, we have really nice cameras that blur our skin. We use filters to put makeup on when we don't feel like doing makeup before we record our videos. We will put on a full face of makeup. There are some women that live in the lash studio they live in the beauty salon because they want to make sure that they keep their enhancements going. You know, the lashes, the weave, the wigs, the nails. And I don't have a problem with anything that makes a woman feel beautiful. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I have been for 17 years. If it makes your life easier, if it improves your quality of life, I say do it. Here's what I don't agree with. We're not going to pretend like that's your hair, boo-boo. We're not going to pretend like that that makeup and those lashes is yours. Like that's what you grew out of your scalp and out of your hair. We're not going to pretend like you don't have acne scars. You got them. It's okay. This is what the men folk want to see. They want to know who they're going to wake up to when you get tired of doing the makeup. Because let's just be honest. As life changes... And real adult responsibilities come, you're not gonna wanna get up at the butt crack of dawn every day and do a full face of makeup and curl your hair. Typically, if something happens and somebody gets sick and they need care, your beauty routine is gonna be the first thing that goes, right? Why is it so hard for us as women, not all women, but some, to embrace the fact that this is what we look like. 
Now, the sun is giving me a natural filter right now, but this is what I look like. This is what you're going to get. If I don't love me like this, how can I expect anybody else to love me? And if we are looking for love, if we are trying to build a relationship that leads to marriage, don't you want that to be a connection with an authentic person? Don't you want that person to love your authentic self? If you are sending the representative, whether it be through filters or makeup or wigs or weaves or whatever, how is that person supposed to fall in love with your authentic self? So here's my very easy rule of thumb when it comes to dating. Them first three dates, they're going to be easy dates. First date, coffee or breakfast. And you gonna get me just like this. Second date, lunch. You're still gonna get me like this. Might get a cute little outfit if it's the summertime, but you're still gonna get me like this. Third date, fourth date, depending on how well it's going, then you might see me at nighttime. And when you see me at nighttime, then I may get a little razzle-dazzle put on for you. You might get the dress, you might get the heels. You'll get the makeup and the lashes. Why? Because I need you to fall in love with this first. I need you to fall in love with my personality, my character, my integrity. I need you to fall in love with my intellect. I need you to focus on Ash from the neck up. I don't need you focusing on Ash from the neck down. And I also don't need you focusing on the superficial because my looks are gonna change. My hair is going to change. My makeup's going to change. My lashes are going to change. But guess what's not going to change? This natural bare face. And if you don't like me like this, oh, baby, you don't get the razzle-dazzle. If you can't appreciate me like this, you don't get the razzle-dazzle. That's what I wish some women, I know it's not all women, so I'm not going to generalize, but I wish that some women would understand that. And if you want the truth and men, y'all sound out, sound off in the comments. From what the men folk have been telling me, they want to see y'all like this. This is what they prefer. They prefer the natural, no makeup, so that they know what they're getting into. They want to fall in love with you how God made you. And if God made you like this, then that's what they want to see. Now, Again, do men have a problem with makeup? Do they have a problem with enhancements? No, when it's done in moderation. Now, what they don't like is the grown men. Let me say that. The grown men, the grown men that are out here handling business, the grown men who want to be husbands, the men, you know, that y'all want, the provider men, the protected men, those men. The general consensus says that those men want a woman that is happy within herself. They want a woman that is comfortable and confident in her own skin. And if you can't be that, you need to work on that before you start working on dating. Because how can you ask somebody to fall in love with you when you're not in love with you? And I, although I'm not a feminist, the whole decentering men, I think some women need to do that because there are a lot of women who only operate from a space of, let me do what I need to do to get a man instead of operating from the space of, let me be the best version of me so I can have the most fulfilling, satisfying life and give out the best energy possible so that I can meet a man that also has incredible energy and loves me for who I am and wants to come in and improve my already wonderful life. See what I did there? I don't believe in decentering men because I am a feminist. I believe in decentering men because some, some of these women out here need to focus on some priorities. Uh, the, the man shouldn't be the priority when your life is in shambles, okay? So I don't know. What are y'all thoughts? Do y'all feel like she catfished him? Do y'all feel like men, all men are superficial? 
Do y'all feel like women are delusional? Tell me in the comments and we'll talk later.